Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the Valet du Thai with Shono here, about to give you the daily vlog for Monday, June the 7th, right after WWDC that showed off iOS 15 and all the integration between Mac OS, iOS, iPhone OS, and Apple Watch. Now, I purchased this MacBook Pro right here. I purchased the one terabyte mile because I figured this is perfect enough for the games that I need to put on here, the application I need to put on here. If I have to have a little bit of room for screenshots, if I have to have a little bit of room for videos, or if I need to do video editing directly off the Mac. One terabyte will give me plenty of space. If I needed two terabytes, I'll just buy external SSDs for it. So we're gonna set it up, we're gonna unbox it, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, because Intel's chips are garbage. I'm gonna show you guys what's inside this bad boy. Look at that. Shiny space gray. We're gonna take the plastic off. This is the most exciting to do on any new device. There it is, yeah. Inside, the stuff that you're gonna get is very basic. You're gonna get a 61 watt charger and you're gonna get a USB-C port specifically designed for charging. That's all the accessories you're gonna get. That's all that you need. Now from Target, I also purchased a four port anchor hub one of the ports is USB-C, which is meant for power delivery, and three USB-A ports. That'll allow me to hook up things like my Razer Mamba wireless mouse and some other stuff. So after reading about reviews about the M1 MacBook Pro, I decided to try it out myself. And yes, it is a little bit of an expensive purchase at $18.99 plus tax. However, keep in mind, I want something for productivity, and I heard this is the best 13 inch you can get. I've looked at the Razer laptops, I've looked at the Dell laptops, I've looked at the Asus Zephyrus lineup, and this is the best bang for your buck. So right away when I took off the little privacy cover, whatever they put on the screen, the Mac just started booting up. That's some pretty cool technology that they have that. Now I've never used a MacBook before, so a learning curve on this is probably gonna be a little bit extreme. However, the touchpad on the MacBook Pro is one of the best things. And you can also customize the touch bar. Some people like it, some people hate it. I don't know if you can see the keys very well, but they have brightness on here. They have screen brightness. I might actually like it. You can turn the brightness off all the way. You can even dim the display down. This is a 500 nit screen. I can see it pretty well outside so right away that's a pretty good purchase so we're going to set up that we're in the united states and so this is accessibility so if you can't see very well say you're colorblind motor skills or hearing now unfortunately there is no actual touch screen on this which is unfortunate but it's kind of funny that there's like chinese networks so we're gonna log into our password here yeah the keys feel really nice i'm still gonna be using a mouse but one thing i'm also gonna point out regarding this macbook pro you can actually install certain ios apps on here like for example hbo max is able to be installed this gaia rpg is able to be installed Magic Puzzle Quest, there's some other games on here. Tekken actually had support, so did Chronoblade. And if it's not on this list, you can't actually install it. That's a little bit of a bummer. I didn't see any of the big Mortal Kombat Injustice, Marvel Contest of Champions. However, don't be surprised if in the future, support does come around. And you can actually put a calculator on here. For some reason, iOS does not give you a calculator. However, you can download one and then use a calculator on here. I never understood why they don't have support for it, but they actually do. You just have to download an app for it. So the amount of games that you can actually play from this is pretty small. I don't understand why card games are not supported on here, but maybe they want you to use PC variant apps. You can only install a small amount of things on here. There is a section for Mac apps. I don't really have a whole lot of apps. Asphalt 8 for some reason is on here, and I'm gonna have to search for some other ones as well. I just got this Mac today, so I got a little bit of experimenting to do. As far as Battle.net goes, I can run WoW natively, WoW Classic natively. Hopefully Diablo 2 does get support by the time that it releases on on a Mac. Unfortunately for Savage Wolf, Call of Duty Warzone is not supported, but Hearthstone is supported, Diablo 3 is supported, StarCraft 2 is supported, and Heroes of Storm is supported. Overwatch unfortunately is not supported. And over on the Steam side of things, you can actually install a few games from Steam natively on your MacBook. You can't install them all. You can, however, stream them from another PC. So for example, if you want to play Mortal Kombat 11 off your MacBook from your Windows, Windows desktop or laptop computer, you do have the option for it, but you have to stream it, much like you do for their cloud services. So for a game like Path of Exile, for example, 
You can install Path of Exile on here as well. You cannot install Borderlands 3, so I am going to install Path of Exile on here. Unfortunately for Vince, Fantasy Star Online 2 is not supported, but look at the colors on that screen. Pretty nice, if I must say so myself. Now, one of the other cool things about this MacBook is you can actually message people just like you can on an iPad and anybody that owns an iPhone. I'm pretty sure you can message from Android as well via emails. I'm not too familiar with it. I also have to figure out how to put my music on here. Apple TV will probably also work as well. I'm really looking forward to using this MacBook Pro. There's a lot of things that I have to learn how to use. And I like that you can just have windows and pop them open or you can close them and open them out. That is so cool. I do have to learn how to use this. For some reason, the list of players for chat is actually in a Windows format. Maybe because this is a Windows app and it's still not fully supported on a Mac. I'm not really sure. There's a lot of tinkering I have to do around with this still. But I want to thank everybody for watching this daily vlog. Yes, this is an impulse buy. Yes, I've always wanted to try out a Mac. Now I finally get that option to do it. And if you guys don't like that, go fuck yourself. This is my money, my choice. But I'm looking forward to having a portable machine that I can use anywhere I want. And once I get back to work regularly, I'll probably increase the amount of data I use on my phone because I'm going to be playing music at work. Thank you for watching this daily vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow for yet another daily vlog and I am off so I'm going to be looking at routers. I need a better router for my laptop or just general use outside so I might have to go into a Best Buy and talk to somebody.